Hey guys, so in this video I'm just going to show you how to transfer your videos to your computer. So basically, you see this cable right here that came with your iPhone. Just hook it up to your computer. So you're going to hook it up to your USB. So in this case, this is my USB. Um, you can have several USB inputs in your computer. So you're just going to hook this up. That's just the first step. Now, on your Mac. Okay, so now that we have our iPhone hooked up, we are just gonna open iPhoto, so that's right here as you can see. Um, just zoom in on it, so that's iPhoto. Okay, um, if you don't see that, just go right here, click on it, and you're gonna look for iPhoto. So that comes standard with your iMac, MacBook Pro, um, any Mac product actually, such as a MacBook Air. So you're just gonna click on that, open it up, so I'm gonna zoom out. Okay, with iPhoto you can transfer all your pictures, not just your videos. Um, this will automatically um, let you view your pictures. I'm just going to scroll all the way down. Okay, so you can make this bigger or smaller. I'm just going to make it smaller for this video. I don't need to make this too big. Um, okay, so here are my videos. So I have um, several videos actually. So how do I know these are videos? Well, you can see by this little logo right here that it's a video. These are pictures for example, they don't have a logo beside them. So that's how you know it's a video. As well you can see the number right here. However, a picture could have a number depending what picture it is. So basically just look at the number, look at the logo, that's a video. So I'm just gonna select them all, all these right here. So you can select one by one just by clicking on it or just drag your cursor and select those. Once you do that, just click on import selected. Okay, at this time you could also put import all if you want to import all your pictures and your videos. So it's just going to take some time for me to um, download these videos. Once they are downloaded, they will just show up um, just the same way that you see all your other stuff um, on your iPhoto. So you can at this point select if you want to delete them or keep your photos. Um, in this case, they were just videos. So I'm going to put delete photos because I don't want them on my phone. So that's just deleting them from your phone, not from your library. So here, here they are. Um, since I want to use them and I don't like to store too much stuff on my iPhone, I'm just going to take them out. So again, you select them, drag and drop on my desktop or on a folder that you can select. So right now it's just copying them to my desktop. Okay, so I'm going to use some Final Cut stuff to edit them. So I'm just going to delete them from my iPhoto. So I'm just going to place trash. Now you don't have to do that, you can keep them on your iPhoto. Um, if you do delete them, remember to go to your trash and empty your trash so they're actually really deleted. Um, they're only going to be deleted from your iPhoto once again. Um, if you don't empty your trash bin, it's going to fill up and you're going to lose a lot of memory uh, from your um, computer just uh, because you have a duplicate of your videos. So don't forget to do that and once you're done that then you can just quit iPhoto and just open up your videos. You can also open them up in iPhoto so you can use iPhoto just to open them up even do small edits and stuff like that. However I do use other stuff to do that and organize them in a different way. So that's your basics of how to import any video from your iPhone. It works the same thing with your iPod Touch and your iPad. Whichever iPad you have, one, two, three, or four or five. So whichever iPad you have, it will work basically the same thing. The cable is just a little bit different. However, same type of deal as you saw right now. Um, if you guys have any comments, questions, problems, don't forget to write down here below on my comment section. Don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.